Hey everyone, welcome back. So I am here to do another collab using a kit from Steph's Design Space. The kit that I'm using this week is the Hydrangea Kit. Um, Tara from Sassy Turtle Plans is also doing this kit. So we will be doing this together. We have some new questions here for you guys that we'll be answering. So I'm just getting all my little pieces out of the bag. So I used a um, Ziploc bag to hold them all so that I didn't lose any. Because there's some itsy bitsy pieces here. So get all this done. All right. Hope everyone's doing good. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for coming back here. So we are doing another collab and I'm using art glitter glue. So we have that. This is a kit from Steph's Design Space. You can use my code in the shop, Rochelle15, to save 15% on your orders. It does not include the kits though, however. Sorry. They're already pretty cheaply priced, so it does not include them all right let's move this over here i'm gonna move this to the side of me off screen so that it's out of the way we've got our vintage photo distress ink with our dauber so we have that got scissors in case i need some scissors and i'm ready so let's go ahead so what's something new that you have learned recently? Well, one of the things that's new that I have learned recently is um, how to make envelopes and pockets for journaling. That's something new that I've learned recently. I enjoy doing this. It's very relaxing for me. For some people, this is not relaxing, but for me, it is. And for these, you just follow along the lines. And then, voila, you have an envelope. All right. <coughs> and I'm just going to add a very little bit of blue right here on the edges just to glue this down. You don't need a lot of glue, just a little bit goes a long way. Oops. Got a little too much glue in there. Squeeze out a little bit. All right. All right. I'm going to wait for that to dry and move on to the next item. Okay. Put that on so it doesn't dry out. So the first thing I'm going to start with is some background. So we have these papers to choose from. What is the highlight of your week? Um, highlight of my week. <coughs> I would have to say, hmm, I think I want to use that purple and this pink. Maybe some of that quilted pattern a little well. Um, highlight of my week. I have to say the highlight of my week is talking to my friends. So using like on junk journals Saturdays is one of the highlights of my week. I get to do what I love and talk to my friends and we get to craft together. So I enjoy that a lot. Do you have pets? Tell me more. Um, so I no longer have a pet right now. My baby is no longer with us but i do plan on getting another one in the future just not right this second <laughs> let's 
let's see what are you grateful for today what am i grateful for today i am grateful to wake up it's a good day i'm having a good day so i woke up this morning in a good mood i was feeling good my shoulder hurts a little bit but it's okay it's a good day What's your favorite kind of weather? So I'm like a spring fall kind of girl. Anywhere between 50 and 60 degrees is my kind of weather. <coughs> nice cool breeze. If it's 70 and there's a really cool breeze, I can handle that too. But if there's no cool breeze, I feel like I'm dying. I don't handle heat very well. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, let's take it up. Anywhere in the world. Um, I don't know. Like everywhere has their ups and downs. The reason I don't live in other states is because of the bugs or tornadoes or hurricanes or what have you. Um, I don't know. I've never lived or been to other countries, so I wouldn't be able to say if I would rather live in another country or not. Never been there, so I don't know. I wouldn't mind going to Hawaii. I don't know if I'd want to live there, though. What's the best kept secret about where you grew up? The best kept secret. Um, hmm. Best kept secret about where I grew up. I would have to say Randall's is one of the best kept secrets. So Randall's is a little hole in the wall diner. Um, it's not very big. It's owned by um, some lovely people who my grandparents knew. Um, it is definitely one of the best kept secrets because unless you're older you don't really know about it and it is delicious their food is amazing <coughs> so we'll say randall's um what's the best kept secret about where you live now <sighs> scott by dams scott by dams is another little hole in the wall place literally hole in the wall there's like no room to sit in there um but their food oh my god is amazing absolutely amazing most delicious food ever hands down one of the best things about this place all right let's see i've got some Bits and pieces here. Let's see. I really like this. I think I want to use this in the pocket. I think I want to use that as a belly band. Maybe I can use that's too much pink. Hmm. Let's do this side with the paper. So this way I know what I'm doing first.
what was the last movie you saw? How was it? Last movie I saw. Um, Venom, I think was the last one I saw. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I don't watch movies very often. Um, unless they come out on TV and then I can watch them for free. I don't go to the movie theaters anymore. When you catch COVID, that kind of happens. <coughs> you don't want to people as much anymore. And I definitely don't want to people as much. Oh, I forgot to put some corn on this. I forgot. Alright. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Okay. What was the last TV show you binged and loved? Um. I binge a lot of TV. Um. Yesterday, I was binging Lawn Orders. Um, before that, I was binging 911. So I love all of them. I am really into. Doctor, fire, police, first responder type shows. Um, so I like, I watch Law and Order, Law and Order SVU, Law and Order Organized Crime, 911, 911 Lone Star, Fire Country, really good. Um, let's see what else do I watch? The Resident. I used to watch New Amsterdam before they took it off the air. I watched SWAT, SEAL Team, um, Equalizer. Can't forget Queen Latifah. So, I am, I watch a lot of TV shows. Um, oh, Accused, that's a good one. I really like Accused. If you're not familiar with it, it's on Hulu. Um, so I guess that's what, Fox? And... It's about, like, people who were accused of crimes, and they go through the stories and whether or not they're innocent or guilty. It's really good, actually. Alright, let's see. What's the last book you read, and how was it? I'm still reading it. It is a series, and it's really good. And it's called, um, oh crap, what's it called? their their academy something their academy it's about it's a supernatural book i really like the supernatural book it's really good Their Shifter Academy. That's what it's called. Their Shifter Academy. I'm on the final book. There's six books to the series, I believe it was. And I'm on the last book. I binge read and then I don't read for a little bit and then I binge read and yeah. <clears throat> What are your plans this weekend? Well, I'm doing them. <clears throat> this is my plan this weekend. Um, I do need to move my dryer and get the vacuum to vacuum out some of the stuff in the dryer, but um, leave behind it. I 
I was sitting here staring at this and I was trying to count the Roman numerals so I could figure out where I was. And it's crazy to me that a lot of people don't know how to use Roman numerals. I'm so old. All right. Next question. What are your plans for the upcoming holiday? Hmm, which holiday is next? Memorial Day. Um, you know what? That's a good question. I don't know. What are my plans for the upcoming Memorial Day holiday? Um, I gotta remember to start inking stuff before I go to put it down. just some hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill nothing big we don't really go anywhere <coughs> all right i think what i want to do is where was that pocket that i had there was a pocket where did i put the pocket Oh, pocket. Where did you go, pocket? Do I have a purple pocket? I do have a purple pocket. Alright, so we're going to do the purple pocket. On the pink page. Alright. What's your favorite place to go on vacation? Um, anywhere, really. I don't get to go on vacation very often, so. My, my vacations are usually staycations, or I just stay home. So. I had fun in Vegas. Um... What's your favorite place that you've traveled to? Hmm. Um. <coughs> favorite place I've traveled to. I'd have to say that my favorite place that I traveled to would probably be um North Dakota I know it's weird but I really really loved going there <laughs> So I want to put this here. <clears throat> I want to put stuff underneath it first. So maybe like that. Maybe a little thing like that. Maybe like a little puzzle piece there. A little, put that on the belly band itself. <coughs> Some pink flowers there.
I really like this Heavenly Hydrangeas. <clears throat> I think I like this one. It's going to go in the middle of the belly band. Alright, raise it that up there for a second. I need to find something. So I got this on a treasure find. Um, at least a couple pieces here. I need to break this up some. So this is just love written in multiple languages. <clears throat> I'll just tear a piece of this off. thin layer on this parchment paper like stuff. I don't know what kind of paper this is, but it's very very brittle. So I'm not going to ink this at all. I don't want it to fall apart. All right. There we go. Just set that off a little bit. I'll just do this to it just to kind of cover up some white area Let me put my lid on that okay I like that now back to what I was figuring out before I think I want a puzzle piece down here in the corner Puzzle pieces and kits are underrated. I love puzzle pieces on kits. I think they're so cool. <coughs> All right. I did that. Now, what do we want to put here? I need to kind of cover this a bit. Let me see. What do we have that we can use? Let's see what we got around us. Um... Use a patch of black in here. That would be good. Alright. Do. trying to get some other colors in here other than the pink and the purples and some texture on here. It's like little raised bumps. Alright. There we go. Now we're moving along. Alright. Let's put this on. 
And just to put a belly band on, you just do the top and the bottom. And then you just glue down those two parts. Heat glue. All right, here we go. We got that. We've got our pocket over here. I like that there. Or here. I think I kind of like it there. Or what I could do. Honestly, anything can be a pocket. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm trying something new. Let's see. Actually kind of cute. I like it. Okay, we're good. Not bad at all. Perfect. There we go. I'll put this one here. All right, let's see. What do we want down this bottom corner? I think there's too much purple here right now. I love that. It's like a different color. <laughs> Need some greens. Some more green. No more greens. 
That's kind of green. What's your personality type? Loud. Outgoing. I like to have fun. Who is your favorite author, Edgar Allan Poe? Hands down. I love Edgar Allan Poe. Absolutely love him. Um, <clears throat> what was your first job? Um, well, when I was younger, I worked at the Girl Scout camps. And then when I got older, um, and I could like work, like actually work. I worked at a trucking company and I was an admin for the trucking company and did all the invoicing that came in for the trucks. And then after that, I went to work for a um, state correctional facility. And that was in high school. So. All right. I'm gonna put this on this side, maybe. I don't know. This one tear. Um. What podcast do you recommend listening to? Uh, three besties, different decades will have you laughing and in tears. And it's the number three. Um, love that Spotify is what I use. <coughs> but they're on all platforms. Um, another one is Bailey Sarian. Absolutely love Bailey. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when I say, think of a happy memory? Um, first thing that comes to mind, think of a happy memory. The day my niece was born. I went to the hospital to go meet her right after she was born. Um... What made you laugh today? Nothing yet. I'm barely awake. <clears throat> I haven't even had my coffee yet. Maybe like a YouTube video or something that I watched this morning made me laugh. Or a reel. Like a little chuckle. Not really a wholehearted laugh though. <coughs> Do you prefer sweet or savory snacks? Both. I like my sweet and savory mixed. <laughs> um, like popcorn with Sour Patch Kids. I love it. Grape meatballs with mashed potatoes. Delicious. Um, if it's not like a sweet and savory dinner dish, then I would say sweet. Definitely sweet. And put that under the belly band. Mm. Let's move 
this to the side for a minute. What's your favorite food? Mm, I have a couple different ones, but Italian food is definitely my favorite food. Um, so spaghetti is one of my favorites. Um, I also like Mexican food. So it just depends. I like carne asada tacos with horchata and elote. So um, elote is a corn, like a Mexican street corn. And, um, carne asada tacos are on corn, to corn tortillas, and it is a steak taco. Um, horchata is a riced milk drink. It's really good. Um, I enjoy it. So, so if we're not talking about just normal food, then yeah, those are my favorites. Um... Where did you grow up? I grew up in a tiny town called Donora, um, which back in the day was in the history books for the smog, the great smog issue that they had, um, 20, 30, something like that. It's a very tiny town. Not not anything to do there. Let me phrase that. It's not much. Not there's nothing to do there. Um, there used to be a skating rink, and there still is. Uh, somebody else owns it now, but yeah, nothing to do there. There's no gas stations, no supermarkets, nothing like that. There's one dollar store. It's the Dollar General. Um, there's like a six pack and a Unimart and that's about it. And the Unimart's overpriced. <laughs> um, what do you like to do for fun? When I'm not crafting or planning, I like to go out. Like, go get something good to eat, go enjoy myself, sometimes shopping, just depends. Just depends. Alright, bring this back down, now that I can do this. I think that covers it, honestly. I think I'm gonna put this on it and just call it a day.
There we go. Alright. Okay, that way. There we go. Well, thank you everyone for stopping by. Once again, this kit is from Steph's Design Space. You can check out the link below. And my code's down there as well. Um, if you're interested in getting anything extra. This is a digital kit. If you don't have a printer, it's okay. She has a print and ship option. Um, go ahead and you can order that. And until next time, have a good day, Gabe.